My name is Jenny Novak and I'm the Emergency Preparedness Manager here at um, Cal State Northridge. Uh, today we're doing the first ever Beat the Quake event. Beat the Quake is a puzzle room or an escape room, um, which is a format of a live action game where people come in teams. We're doing about three, three to four, I think we had one team of five um, people that have to use teamwork and work together and solve a series of puzzles in a very constrained amount of time in order to beat the game or beat the quake in this uh, in this particular event. So in this event, we are earthquake themed. So we have uh, puzzles that include knowing about the 1994 Northridge earthquake that happened right here in Northridge, uh, as well as knowing where the San Andreas fault is. And then we have puzzles that are more themed toward earthquake mitigation. So the teams actually have to use some Velcro, Velcro straps to secure a television and a bookcase in the rooms. And they also use the museum putty for some of the smaller breakable items. And then also some non-skid liners for under the books and VHS, since um, in this room we are actually 90s themed because we want to bring awareness to the students on this campus about the 1994 Northridge earthquake that was uh, very damaging to this campus. And many of our student population now were either very young or not yet born in 1994. So this is uh, themed in the 90s. We even have slap bracelets that say, I beat the quake with the actual seismogram from the 1994 earthquake. It was recorded in Tarzana, this one. Um, and for our, our winners, we have grand prizes including a gift certificate to a local escape room, a full length escape room, 60 minutes long, earthquake Jenga, disaster movie pack, 90s music and movies. And the prizes really get students interested, but this game is very educational actually, because not only are they performing actions in a very hands-on environment, uh, they're also getting an education session after the game from one of our geology professors, Dr. Julian Losos, and a team of volunteers from the American Red Cross providing information about disaster preparedness as well. So we really think that they're getting kind of, they're getting a lot of fun, they're getting fun participation prizes, but they're really getting a lot of quality education in a hands-on environment. So we're really excited that we were able to put this event together today. So my name's Julian Lizos. I am assistant professor of earthquake science here at CSUN. And I basically brought the earthquake science into this exercise. So uh, Jenny thought was the main mastermind to turn preparedness into a game, into an uh, escape room, into something that is fun rather than just scaring people. Um, but I was there to sort of talk about the science and the background motivation. And certainly, I mean, we're Northridge. We're that Northridge. We are 1994 earthquake. The fault is directly under our feet right now, Northridge. And so this is very much ingrained in this neighborhood and in this campus. Um, and b both that event and the idea of earthquakes in particular. I mean, we would be, anyone is really remiss to not be thinking about earthquakes, but especially with that history we have here in this campus in this neighborhood. This exercise really makes it um, a very practical thing. It's not just, I told you these things in class and I'm going to quiz you on them, but a chance to really practically apply some of the stuff we've talked about and a way to make it much more fun than them just sitting there listening to me talk. I like this one more. Uh because you like experience it and orientation, they, they just like talk to you about it and you listen, but when you're like experiencing it, it's different, you process it more. You're more in the moment. Yeah, exactly, more yeah. in the moment. That's so it was, it was actually, it was just an interesting experience, you know, like setting it up properly. Taking that kind of thing that's a game that's fun and applying it to something realistic and useful, um, I think it's great, I think it's awesome. And as, as I said before, the idea of, uh, not just treating earthquakes as the boogeyman, and earthquake preparedness is a very dire, if you don't do this, you will die. Um, it's, it's, it's very possible to talk about things that are serious and things that are important in a way that's lighthearted, you know, that makes people feel motivated without just scaring them. And I think this is an amazing way to do that. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I'll definitely uh, prepare more now. Earthquake, earthquake. Earthquake, earthquake, very strong. Shaking expected in two seconds.